Hello Taurus, Elsie here with a bonus read. How are you my bull gang? I hope you're well. Thank you so much uh, for clicking here. Happy Monday to you. It is Monday as I'm recording it. You might get this later. Um, but I'm here to do a bonus read. I'm actually here to do quite a few today. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up uh, because I've been, you know, out there doing things out in the sun. And uh, I'm just uh, trying to catch up with you a little bit. Uh, you and a bunch of other signs. I'm going to be doing other signs today as well. And uh, we'll do them throughout the week kind of pepper you with some bonus reads. So when when I do a bonus read, Taurus, um, you do know that uh, I don't date or time these readings and uh, I intend to read for the present energy or the future energy. I don't intend to read for the past. So let's find out what's going on for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Tell me about Taurus, please. Tell me about Taurus in this bonus read. Tell me about Taurus. We do have starting out with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, Taurus. I mean, why Six of Pentacles is in the reverse? We've got the Hanged Man. Tell me more. We've got the Nine of Cups. We've got the Five of Wands, the World card. And we've got the Four of Pentacles. It feels to me like somebody here is feeling kind of like they're holding back. I want to say, Taurus, I feel like you're holding back. You're holding back from closing a chapter because you have good memories about it. It feels like you're holding you're holding back closing this chapter. Look, whenever we close a chapter, it is sad because we close a chapter, we've, we're done with it. It's a This is a major closing of a chapter, right? This is the world card. It's the end of the major arcana and we've already gone through this cycle and now it's time to, to close the, the door on the chapter. It feels here like you've been holding back from closing a door and um, it's you're holding on to something here. It feels like it's you've you've come to a place where you're kind of stalling, hoping that before you close the door, somebody is going to run up to the door and say, wait, 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 don't close the door. I feel like what's on the other side of you closing this chapter is wish fulfillment. I feel like you're holding back your own wish fulfillment. You're holding back on making a decision, which is in effect, making you hold back from your wish fulfillment. It's like a block. So we do have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Six of Pentacles in the reverse to me is like somebody has been either breadcrumbing you or not giving you reciprocity. And I feel like the, the hanged man energy is telling me that you're trying to see another perspective on that. That you're like, why? Why? Why are they not? Why are they holding back? Do they think that there's competition for me possibly? But I feel it's almost like you're thinking that someone else is going to maybe arrive. But it feels like there is somebody here who's just been, it feels like it is breadcrumbing. It's what it feels like with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. There's no reciprocity here. I feel like you're you're the one who wants to give to the situation, but it feels like somebody else here is holding back their energy. And you're here stuck in this hanged man energy. It's like a, a place of stagnancy, I think, that you're stuck here trying to look at it from their perspective. Like, you know, why wouldn't they want to come? Why don't they want me? Why aren't they showing up? Maybe it's a job for some of you. Why aren't they picking me for the job? Why aren't they giving me the promotion? Why do they keep um, why do they keep uh, breadcrumbing me? If it is a job that we're talking about for you, Taurus, I feel like there's a lot of competition. So I want to say that it, I don't see that there's anything here that tells me it's a no. Um, if it is a job that we're looking at, but I also want to say that. Um, that this five of, yeah, the five of wands is telling me that there's a lot of competition and it feels like it's competition within a workplace and um, it's not good competition. It almost feels like an employer who puts out a posting to hope that to, to create dissension, like that's what it feels like here. And maybe you just don't want any part of it. Tell me about the hanged man. Why is Taurus hanging here? It does feel like there is a decision that needs to be made here to close the door to something. It could be to leave a job or it could be to leave a situation in the past, a situation, a family situation, a friend situation, a love situation. It feels like that if you close the door, 
you'll be much happier. But I feel like closing the door is the problem. It feels like you're taking your time or slowly moving toward it, but it feels like it's been there for years. It feels like you've kept the door open for years. The world card is all of the um, fixed signs, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. And all of those energies, um, you know, they're accusatorily, they're being told that they are stubborn, that they don't want to move forward. And they do have the ability to move forward, but they just want to do it once. They don't want to make a mistake. They And, and it's, it can be a little bit of perfection, but it's also in the planning. Some of the signs, some of the fixed signs are, are also very planned, and they don't want to move forward um, in haste. But sometimes that can end up being making you stuck, stuck in a place where you're holding back, waiting for, um, waiting for somebody to stop with their indecision. Tell me why the hanged man is here. For Taurus. We've got the Eight of Wands. So you're waiting for some sort of something to move. It's like it's a stagnant energy and you're waiting for movement here. Or maybe you're waiting for communication for some of you. I feel like you've got to take the action. It feels like somebody here has got to take action. I feel like you're waiting for someone to take action. We've got the Seven of Cups. For some of you, it could be a person that you have feelings for. This uh, the Seven of Cups, she's holding two cups. And then above her head, she's kind of looking up like, if I do take action, if I do move ahead um, with this, am I going to get my feelings hurt? Am I going to regret it if I do it? Am I going to... Um, if I'm, am I, is it even going to work out for me emotionally? Am I going to be emotionally sad? We do have the Magician. I would say trust yourself. Taurus. I, I would say trust yourself and um, take it as it resonates for you. Please use your intuition to watch these readings to know if you're the person who should reach out or not. I'm not telling you to reach out. I'm saying here with the with the magician energy here that you do, Taurus, have, um, you, you do recognize your worth. You know that you have worth. You do also, I feel like you have a lot of resources, capabilities, you have a lot of tools. I feel like you know what to do or that you've been manifesting that somebody reach out to you so you don't have to reach out to them. I feel like that's what keeps you stuck. And I feel like it's time to close the door on that. It's time to stop waiting. It's time to stop holding yourself hostage. Like it feels like you're holding yourself hostage here. I feel like the person that's holding back is somebody who might be a fire sign. They don't have to be, but I'm getting this energy from the Five of Wands saying that this is the person who is in indecision. It's like somebody doesn't know what they want to do. They breadcrumbed you in the past or maybe not given you any reciprocity at all. The Six of Pentacles is in the reverse, so maybe somebody just stopped talking. And you're waiting for them to reach out again or you're waiting for things to move forward. It feels like somebody here needs to make a decision to just close the door. Tell me about the world card here. Because I feel like on the other side of, of this door that you're closing is the Nine of Cups. I feel like you've been manifesting your wish fulfillment, but I think you don't realize that you can't have your wish fulfillment until you close that door back there to whatever it is. And it's going to be different for all of you. It could be a problem you have with one of your children. It could be a um, resolution that you didn't get with a family member. It could be anything, really. Somebody's got to close the door because it's, it's a considerable block that's stopping you from moving forward here. Tell me about the world card. We do have the Eight of Cups. I feel like you're waiting for somebody to come back. Uh, the Eight of Cups in the reverse for me is like the boomerang. It's like somebody went out there because they felt like they didn't want to settle. They went out there to find what they wanted and they didn't find what they wanted. So I feel like this person um, maybe is thinking of coming back. But I want to say that before they come back, I feel like you need to shut the door. Uh, we have the Nine of Wands here. This person's coming back as the Wounded Warrior. three of swords their heart has been broken so like i said it, it it is a door that you need to close because i it doesn't feel like anything good can come from this it does feel like that there is somebody um and and it with the eight of cups it does tell me that there was an, some sort of an emotional disconnection and that somebody wants to reconnect emotionally here but the nine of wands is telling me that it's water under the bridge you've been hurt too much you're now the wounded warrior and i feel like you are 
Um, you've decided to take another path. We can see that the Wounded Warrior is holding up the Ace of Wands. You've decided that I'm just going to go out there and find, find another path, but I feel like you've left the door open. I feel like you're carrying on, but I feel like you don't want to carry on. You don't want to shut the door. You don't want to leave the situation unattended. You don't want to close the door because you still feel like the person is going to show up. I feel like you are blocking your wish fulfillment here. Tell me, what is the wish fulfillment? Getting justice. King of Pentacles. And we do have the Two of Wands. Look, I feel like if you can close this door here on whatever this situation was, it feels like somebody left you behind. And like I said, I don't know what their relationship is to you, but it feels like somebody left you behind. It feels like the only way that you're going to get any... Um, the only way that you're going to settle yourself and be able to carry on to your wish fulfillment is if you close the door. We do have the Justice card. That is Libra energy. We have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then we have the Two of Wands. I feel like you really... Um, when you close the door, you prepare yourself to get stability. It feels like you get to settle down. You settle yourself. It feels like you give yourself justice. That your wish fulfillment is just, I just want to stop thinking about this situation that didn't work out the way I wanted it to work out. I feel like the justice is things come back into balance for you. Not only do things come back into balance for you, but I do feel like you kind of release something. And I feel like you settle yourself, like you settle yourself um, into your pentacle world and you stop looking out the window and waiting for whoever's going to arrive. You start to focus on your pentacle world and make preparations within your pentacle world. I feel like you turn your... your um, you turn your eyes somewhere else, I want to say. You turn it inward. So the Eight of uh, Pentacles is about working hard on the self. It's about self-mastery, putting the hard work in. I feel like what you, what you will do for yourself um, when you close this door is you will focus on you. You'll start to build the self. You'll start to master things. You'll start to go over details about you. You'll begin to grow. And I feel like you grow from the Eight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. For some of you, this is an energy growth. This is like you go from a place, well, fine, I'm just going to focus on me. And you end up being the King of Pentacles. You end up being the king sitting on the throne, feminine or masculine. Don't be confused that there's a man on the card. But um, I feel like the wish fulfillment for you is I just want balance in my life. I just want things to go right. I want I want to um, I want to grow. And I feel like if you don't close this door, it feels like you're stuck here. You're stuck in this energy here. Tell me about the world card, please. Tell me about the world card. And it feels like it is already stagnant energy that you've been sitting here for a while hoping that someone's going to change their mind or make a different decision. And it feels like you've been holding back from them. You feel like you can't reach out to them. We do have the Three of Wands. We have the Five of Swords. And we have the Devil. It feels like it's never going to come back together. Like, I'm, okay, never is a bad word. I don't like to use absolutes. But look, if it does come back together, we've got the Devil with the Five of Swords. If you've been reading tarot with me long enough, you know that the Devil is really, it's, it's not great energy. It's having an attachment, something you can't get rid of. It's doubt. It's fear. It's um, obsessively doing something that is bad for you. Bad for you spiritually, physically, mentally. It's just bad for you. And the Five of Swords is here. So it's arguments and fights. It's conflict. It's not being able to come to a resolution. And I feel like with the Three of Wands, you're waiting for things to come to a resolution that I don't think you're going to get. I honestly think that this person eventually at some point is going to turn around and come back. But I feel like you need to close the door in order for some healing to happen. Because I feel like you're living in this Nine of Wands energy, hoping that around the corner somebody's going to show up. But you're heartbroken here. And I feel like you would better be served. Um, if you would, if you would decide to just uh, focus on the self, tell me why the six of pentacles is in the reverse, please. Somebody's holding back from you, breadcrumbing you, not giving you attention. It's like you have reached out to them; they're not answering your calls. It feels like that kind of energy. Tell me about the six of pentacles, please. We've got the six of cups. We've got the Four of Cups and we have the Ten of Wands. Somebody is rejecting you and it really is hurting your heart. So stop. I'm just going to say stop. Drop the burdens. It's time to drop the burdens. The Four of Cups is telling me someone keeps rejecting you. Rejecting your call. 
rejecting your cup, just rejecting you. And we have the Six of Cups. I feel like this person means a lot to you, that you've known them, you've grown up with them, or you had a friendship with them. This is somebody that you know really well, or you have a lot of history with them, that you have, you've known them for years. It doesn't have to be love. It can be anybody, anybody. So what, what do we do? What is the resolution here? What does um, Taurus have to do in order to get out of this energy? Because it feels, it feels like you're kind of stuck, Taurus. We do have uh, the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Five of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Swords. There it is. It feels like you have been obsessively thinking about being disconnected from somebody. And I feel like you need to let it go and get your balance. We've got the Queen of Pentacles here, who is um, the person who is the overgiver. Taurus, you've been overgiving to a situation and someone just doesn't care. Just going to say it. They don't, they, don't want, they don't want what you're giving out. I feel like you're you're trapped in this energy because you're hoping upon all hopes that you'll they'll surprise you and um, that the the lovers is here that they'll choose you because you are the star and whether they choose you or not just because someone cannot see your worth it doesn't mean you don't have it I feel like you are the star I feel like there is probably someone else out there waiting for you but I feel like you're hoping against all hope that this person is going to surprise you is going to choose you. And that's not what I'm seeing here. I feel like, Taurus, they are going to come back. I feel like they are. This person is going to come back, whoever it is that you're having the hard time with. But I feel like it's not a good situation when they do. I feel like they come back and heartbreak ensues. I feel like they come back and arguments ensue. We still have the same fundamental differences that we had when you walked out the door. So I feel like you're waiting on... Um, resolution but i don't know that you're going to get it yeah so it's time for you to, to let go because we've got the four of pentacles here i feel like it's time for you to let go taurus of something here there you are the empress energy you need to make a decision absolutely and for some of you it might be a love situation or somebody who really you really have um uh, affection for somebody you have um, not necessarily romantic love for but a friend you feel like this person it might be after you know there's maybe too many fundamental differences here we're never going to be able to agree on this thing and so i feel like you need to make some sort of really big decision i think the big decision is the world card it's time to close the door on the situation and it's for your own relief taurus it's for your own healing you deserve the healing here Look, the sun is here. There's going to be so much healing if you decide to close the door. If you decide just to turn your back to the situation and get a hobby. Go forward and, and try and find something that entertains the mind. It feels like somebody here is going to go through some sort of rapid healing once this door is closed. Um, and I feel like the sun is here to say there's a breakthrough, clarity. It's like, I love the self. I'm going to spend this time on this new path with me. It feels like for some of you, this... Um, this fool card here and the two of cups in the sun tells me that you're going on this new path anyway regardless of whether or not this person is coming back i feel like you do find new love on this path if it is a love relationship you do find a new best friend on this path if it is a best friend thing so it feels like that there is going to be clarity a breakthrough about the two of cups and that you need to be more selective about who you're giving it to it's time for you to heal that my friend it's time for you to heal it and maybe even talk about it. It's time to find a new soul tribe. We've got the three of cups here as well. I'm just going to leave that right there. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I do appreciate you. I'm going to go for now. You guys take care. I love you. I'll be back because I'm always back. Love you. Bye.